Houston, Texas, and Jerry. Hello, Jerry. Dennis Prager. Uh, hey, how you doing, Dennis? I'm well, thanks. <clears throat> um, I uh, was trying to get this worded properly so it wouldn't appear that I was challenging you. Challenging you. Um, but I, I've been listening a bit to Ron Paul and some of his some of the things he said recently, and, and I know that you differ with him on his issues of foreign policy. Uh, economically, it would be okay, I guess. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. Um, but, well, on and, many issues, we're, I mean, I'm 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 not quite as libertarian, but we're very similar. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, having listened to him, I've heard him say something on more than one occasion. This particular argument that uh, how would we like it if uh, if some major military power like China or something would set up its military presence in our country in a camp in Texas or, or, or something to that order. And I was just wondering how, if you were to say something like to you, that to you face-to-face, how would you, how would you deal with that? So that it's a question mm. right to my mind. What I, I would have to control myself, uh, <laughs> and I would, I would have to control myself from insulting him. because is it a lack the, of the, logic? Or yes, it is, is so illogical and immoral, but it, it, it lacks all morality and it lacks all logic. It depends on the circumstance, doesn't it, uh, Congressman Paul? If the United States were, in fact, uh, taken over by a Hitler or a Saddam and foreign uh, liberty-loving troops bailed my country out of tyranny, I would welcome them and beg them to stay. So wouldn't it, Congressman, depend on the circumstance, sir? Okay. So this is this is the sort of thing that that you uh, that frustrates you mostly with this position. Yes, it is both foolish and immoral. You can't get worse than that combination. There are stupid positions that aren't immoral, and there are immoral positions that aren't stupid. That position, well, how would we like if there were foreign troops in our country? Is both stupid and immoral. It is mind-boggling that this gets ovations. When it is said, it all of these people must have gone to college because you don't learn to think at college. You learn not to think at college. If you think clearly after college, it is either because you were drunk for four years and imbibed nothing or you were clear when you went in and were not subverted in your thought processes. I swear on all that I believe that is holy that I am not being sarcastic. I'm being sarcastic about the four years of drunk, but not the other. I, I truly believe college teaches you how not to think. This is a good example, and it's an example, uh, it, to prove my point, where it's even people just as, not, not just as likely, but many on the right, or so-called right, who believe that. Well, how would you feel if we had foreign troops in our country Doesn't it depend on why they were there? Is there any other question? It's like, how would you feel if if there were a police car chasing you? Well, it depends. If I had just committed a bank robbery, I'd be happy if a police car were chasing me. If uh, if, uh, I'm a Jew in Nazi Germany then a police car chasing a person is not a good thing. If you're a bank robber in America, then a police car chasing a person is a good thing. For the entire show, commercial-free, highest quality, play anytime you want, just subscribe to PragerTopia, and I know you will be happy you did.